Cue cool graphics. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Season 2, Episode 1 of the JTGA Podcast. Joining me once again this week is Jason Burley. What's up? Adam Burley. Hello. And our newly minted fourth chair, Johnny Wilson. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so our first episode back is going to be all about um, this year's E3, 2018 in June, our hopes and dreams for the new conference. Um, so, one thing, what's, what will be top of your list for stuff that you guys want to see at this year's conference? A decent Star Wars game. Yes, yes, please. Are you thinking about the three, or do you want something new? No, just, just a decent Star Wars game. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, open world, battlefield, whatever. A decent Star Wars game. I think open world would be the best way to do it. I think so. Maybe Knights, like a Knights of the Old Republic. Knights of the Old Republic was probably the last great Star Wars game. Yeah. So it won't be done by EA then, basically. So I like Battlefront, the, the reinvention they did. Um, what was it 2015? That's released, right. Yeah, with the console. Um, but yeah, I mean, it wasn't great, was it? It was good. I liked it, but it wasn't great. Nice Old Republic was great. I've heard very good things about yeah. Nice Old Republic. Yeah, absolutely. It's meant to be like really, really good. Really well, the, deep. Yeah, and the opportunity there to build that new story <laughs> as well. <laughs> I mean, even some of the older Star Wars games on some of the older consoles. <laughs> Sorry, no, you can't. You can't do a serious point on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> but no, absolutely, I think it's, there's a great opportunity for them to reinvent it and do something that you know harnesses the power of the new consoles. It's not just a, a PC RPG anymore, it's something that's a bit more mainstream that's, that other people can get involved with. Um, but EA are going to be making it. Because EA has just, a license. Like they've got just the license. something that's not built on a core of microtransactions. Oh, yes. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good luck with that. But EA are addicted to that, aren't they? Because they earn so much in DLC revenue. Yeah, it is so, so much almost, of their business. They almost build their games around the business model of charging people more to win, which, you know, is totally shit, but... <laughs> yeah, that's EA. <laughs> that's EA, kids. Yeah. Um, so that, I mean, for me, I also, you know, I think this is the year we're going to see The Last of Us Part 2. I think we're going to see gameplay. Uh, that is my biggest wish. Would that be number one? I, I want uh, a trailer on the sort of lines of the hotel from the yeah. first one where it was 15 minutes. Of also, a, a really extended in. demo. Just go for it now. Yeah. I mean, you've had two sort of two, three minute trailers. I mean, the one at the last one was five minutes. Yes. So now it's like whack out a 15 minute, hopefully Joel Vanelli centric, just, you know, something that was like the hotel where, you know, you had absolutely. a bit of dialogue, a bit of walking around, and then let's shoot some baddies. Yeah, absolutely. And I think too, because they've been so careful not to show a lot of Joel Vanelli for a lot mm -hmm. of the footage that you've seen. That this is now I want to sort of pull back the curtain. I want to see that now, and like you say, kind of an extended look. Yeah. It could potentially could be one of the last times we see it before it finally gets a date. Do we? Yeah. Think, do you think we get a date? No. No. Too soon. I okay. think they'll be very. Te they're going to be teasing. I think. I think. I think, I think you'll, I, get a, you'll get. You'll get. You'll get a season. You won't get a date. So you'll get like. Four, I still four think it's spring. Do you think they might give even a year, like twenty nineteen yeah, or something? I, I think like, you'll get a, a seasonal. Or I think you'll get a seasonal estimate because then they can right. change that. Yes. You give people dates and like, I mean, it's like the whole, you know, it's lots of games that have been pushed back. People just get angry about it, don't they? So negative press and whatever. So I think we'll get a season. I think we'll get, you know, summer, spring, fall, whatever it's going to be. Probably, probably, yeah, probably spring. No, I, reckon, I, think, yeah. I think they'll release it around the same time they did the first. Yeah. June. Mm -hmm. June. Right. I think they'll aim for that. I guess it depends on other releases, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah, because now we were talking about this earlier, Bernie, that we've got like the problem of Days Gone now. Days Gone being 2019, yeah. another post-apocalyptic Sony exclusive. It's very good. It's great, but it's releasing in the same year, you know, potentially. So it's. I think was any any kind of zombie game is going to sell. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I, I don't think you have to worry about zombies uh, are in. Yeah, <laughs> forever. Yeah. And, and, and you heard it here first, thanks to you, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Um, do you have anything that you think? This is kind of a different kind of question. Do you think? There's something we're absolutely going to see, but it will have absolutely no interest to you whatsoever. Like a proper eye roll, something where you go, oh, another Any, one. Anything uh, on Nintendo, basically. How dare you? <laughs> how dare you? Exclusive to Nintendo. <laughs> like Minecraft 2 or something. Oh, like please no. don't. No. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of irrelevant stuff. There always is. When the EA press conference shows FIFA again, oh, I don't want to see it. it at E3. It's the same game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, just need, they just need to put out a launch trailer and then just never yeah. see it again. Just release it. Yeah, just it release doesn't it. need to be Why shown. Waste Everyone time. Everyone knows it comes out around October. Just right. Like on the um, and, and my favourite part of E3 too is sometimes where they, where they drag out 
a celebrity that has absolutely no clue about what gaming is. Yeah. Like it's when Usher danced at the Xbox conference for Dance Central. You know, <laughs> I, I, I want, do you, I mean, do you, are we Ooh. thinking like EA are the worst for this? They always like, they had Zac Efron playing Battlefield 1 last year and he looked totally, he looked like he'd what? been like, you know, he looked like he'd lost. Kids, that's good yeah. news to me. Yeah, it looked like he was being paid to be there. Right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I, think I mean, so are we, can we make any wild predictions on uh, some terrible celebrity cameos? <laughs> Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> Playing against Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Fortnite one on one. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kevin Spacey. Um, so yeah, so in terms of like, if we now look at specifically at something like Microsoft, they, I think, have struggled a little bit with their exclusives. I mean, everything that they release now is PC as well as Xbox. There's mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot less you know, need to own just an Xbox to get their games. If you've got a semi-decent rig, you can play almost all of their stuff, which is, in a way, it's great for us, but I do think it weakens the Xbox offering. What do you want to see from Xbox? I know you're a very, you know, big Xbox What, what I want to see, not just Xbox, but multi-platform. You guys remember Dead Island? Mm. Yeah. Like, like, teasing like, that, mm. teasing that. Dead Island 2 was okay. scheduled for, I think it was supposed to be released last year. Yeah. And there was a problem with the developer, I think it was. Um, I can't remember, can't remember the developer, but they had a, there was two developers making it. They had a difference of opinion. And then I think it was sort of canned, or has it been canned, or is it coming out, or what's going on? It, it, it switched developers, they, they, but it's still coming. Apparently. There was some footage on YouTube that I saw um, online. It looks incredible. It's supposed to be like a, an open world. It's supposed to be the whole entire, I think, um, west coast of America. Right. So you've got lots of different cities. You know, it's a proper open world game. So I'd love to see an announcement for Dead Island too. Yeah. I think. I think you know. Maybe like a re-reveal of it. Yeah. Like, Everyone loves an open world zombie game. I mean. Yeah. Simple, just cutting up zombies, doing. Basic objectives. And the fact that it was so melee focused, I like that. That it yeah, wasn't, it wasn't really, just shooting. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, the gunplay was particularly terrible. Yes. Game, yeah, I yeah. Think it, you think you had like three guns and ammo was sparse and you know, good thing for it really because it just wasn't a lot of fun. No, but, absolutely. Um, yeah, so I'd love to see Dead Iron 2. What about the return yeah. of like other stuff like Halo, Gears of War? Do you know what? I, Halo 5 was really bad to me and um, yeah, kind of not looking forward to any more. Right installments from that. Right, because I, I enjoyed the multiplayer, but the single player I couldn't, I couldn't handle. It was so boring. Other way so. around for me, single right. player, obviously it's Halo, you can get into it, but no, the multiplayer on Halo 5 was... It was in the traversal stuff, like the vaulting and the being able to like jet and dodge. It, it was slower paced than Halo 4 and 3 right. and 2 and, and 1, they just, it just wasn't the same pace and gameplay mm. and it, I didn't think graphically it was particularly good either, I actually thought that some of the effects in the... Because they pushed for 60 frames yeah. for Halo 5 and I think that, that cost it in its resolution. I think a lot of the textures and, and sort of, you know, effects from the guns and everything were better on the previous Halo games. Yeah. Um, I thought it was, a, yeah, Halo 5 was a massive letdown. Um, in terms of PlayStation, I know that you guys are, are both PS4 and Switch, obviously as well for you, Johnny. Um, what are you sort of hoping for from E3 from Sony this year? More of the same. More of the they stuff. They don't though. really need to do much at this point. They, they can't. Most of the big developers have already made their announcements for mm. the big games that mm. they've got coming up. I mean, they, they've really got to fuck up hard at this point. <laughs> 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 they do. Do any wrong. Because that is a serious first party offering when you look at things like, you know, Death Stranding, Days Gone, Ghost of Tsushima, um, Spider Man, God of War, Last of Us Part 2. I mean, it is a serious. Yeah, exactly. And I sort of, as much as I want to see more, I don't want to see too much. So, <laughs> are we actually going to be able to play them all? That's the thing. I was saying this earlier. It's like all these great t like games. I'm it's never going to play them. <laughs> never going to play. So, you just put one. Game that you really want to invest in, and that's twenty. Sorry, you and mean, that's twenty. It's one game. Yeah, you just want whatever. one game. I just want. Yeah, mine was going to be Days Gone. That was twenty nineteen. Right. That was going to be twenty eighteen for me. So that's twenty nineteen. Okay. okay. Now, yeah, but now it can be Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, Oh, no, I shot that one down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were saying, but you weren't. So, I mean, we were talking about that on Burley and a Teat. That you kind of. A bear. Burley and a Teat. You were kind of. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask. No, we can't. Um, but we eventually that will reveal all. Um, but it, that idea of you know you were thinking you might not get it at launch. It wasn't something that you were really excited no, for. It was more about that, about having played the very first Spider Man on PS yeah. PlayStation One and for, like remembering that with fond, great fond memories and. Like a new modern equivalent will be, you know, probably delivering a similar sort of sort of feeling, but uh, I don't think it's going to be a big enough game for me personally. Okay. Um, do you think we see Smash Brothers at uh, E3? Oh, I have everything crossed. Yes. Oh, we'll we do. All right. 
I mean, at be it's worth. At, at the minimum, <laughs> they've got to be showing some characters off. Right. And that, but I, mean, I think that's all we'll get. Yeah. I think we'll probably just see a bit of Mario, a bit of Link. Well, and that's that. We'll back Maybe Kirby. I'll, I'll be interested if you can play as the Liam Neeson. Yeah, oh, please. I'll be, I'll be interested if you can play as the Liam Neeson. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> Donkey Kong, Samson and Liam Neeson. Yeah, yeah. Brian Mills. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure, why not? But we, we know from before, when we've talked in previous podcasts, that you are the CEO of everything. You, know, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can make this happen. I'll make it happen. Yeah, yeah man, you've got the power. Um, and my final question for it relating to all this E3 madness was um, uh, s- something out of left field. I want like a really absurd prediction, something that you... It's so unlikely, but I just want us to have like said it here first, that just on the off chance that we see it, either reviving an old series or a, a weird crossover. Command and Conquer. Yes, please. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, That'd please. A good, one. a good Command and Conquer. Are there, are there many strategy games in the history of strategy games that are as consistently good as? I mean, Red Alert Two. Come on. Oh, I, I want to see Red Alert Two remastered. Oh, Give me that in HD, hundred percent. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. they did Red Alert Three, but it, it wasn't great. But they just need to take all the units and everything they had in Red Alert Two. And ramp up the graphics, uh, you know, because you could just build these insane armies, couldn't you? Yeah, I know. The count would go up and up, and there was no cap at all. It would just basically you build two massive, spend about three hours building an army, and then the game would just crash because it couldn't handle <laughs> 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 yeah. the sort of So no one actually ever fought or read it. It's just like <laughs> you know, crash PC could survive. It really was just like an online Cold War scenario. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. you know, you build your units, and then uh, <laughs> 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 so my my one would be Red Faction. I want oh, Red Faction. Yes. Um, they just re-announced they're going to do Red Faction Gorilla, an uh, HD version of that. It's the remastered edition, which is you know what? fantastic. Oh, that was um, like the worst Red Faction of them all, though. Gorilla No Armageddon was the one that was the one that was the most recent one, the third person set in like a on an alien, like in a rock. Gorilla was the, also a third person one, but it was open world. Yeah, but I didn't like that one. Oh, how dare I you? thought that was. Um, good. <laughs> I think um, the greatest revamp they could do of a game would be Time Splitters. Oh, yes, yes please. Yeah. What a... Give yes. me the HD remaster and then Time Splitters like a new one. Every, yeah, every, time every, is every time format, is Xbox, PlayStation, PC. Yes. Uh, get it online, get it 64 player madness. Yeah. The ultimate be, arcade shooter. Yeah, yes. uh, destructible environments, throw that mm-hmm. in there. Um, all the classic characters. Imagine Time Splitters on like the Frostbite engine, like the Battlefield yeah, engine. Yeah, yeah. That would just I mean, be um, great. Overwhelming. Yeah, really. it'd be brilliant. Really good. My eyes yeah. might melt. A cross between <laughs> Battlefield and Borderlands would be, you know, that kind of style of play would be. That's now I have wood. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so that's <laughs> Time Splitters. They should do it. I mean, it would sell like. Oh, it would be. It'd amazing. be people like us buying it. Who would you it? want? Who would you want making it? Well, who, who made it originally? Epic. Not EA. So it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, EA. So it was Free Radical, who I think I think were bought out by Crytek and now don't exist anymore. Crytek, people who made Crisis, you know, the PC game Crisis. Um, I would want someone like Gearbox, like the Borderlands people. Yeah. I'd love them to take that on. I, I think, think Gearbox, uh, I think you'd need a couple of developers on a game like that. Maybe DICE for the, for the larger... For the engine, maybe, the, yeah, uh, the yeah. larger sort of um, I'd almost aspect want, of the game. I'd almost want Bungie to leave Destiny alone and just go back to making proper competitive Does, FPSs again. Do you know anyone who plays Destiny? I do not. My nephew. Okay. Right, that's the first person I've ever heard yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's 13, and what does he know about games? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, true. But yeah, I mean, how have they, how have they done anything? Why are they still put, I literally don't know anybody who plays it no. at all. Never uh, know anybody no. talk about it. I, I have no interest at all. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, I'd be interested to know how well that game sold, the second one. I don't know how successful they that released second the second one. Was. one? No, they yeah. Um, I yeah. played the first one for about an hour, and then. Yeah. yeah, I played the beta of the first one and really didn't like they it. They really hyped it up, didn't they? Because they were like, they were like, made a big deal of we're leaving Halo alone. Yeah, to ten years land to start this new project. Yeah. and I, I hear they're basically, <laughs> I hear they're basically the same game. It's much worse than Halo. Much, much, much worse. But I think if you took Halo, put it in a blender with like Borderlands, and then added like. Bioshock style RPG elements to it, it's this weird. It, it has no identity. It doesn't really sort of. I saw no, the first trailer for the first game, I was like, yeah, this actually looks pretty cool, right. quite different, but then actually the more I learned about it, the more I was like, this just sounds like a waste of... I kind of want just to leave it alone now. game in time I have, so... Yeah. Give that studio with that, you know, Activision and that kind of money, put Time Splitters on that kind of budget, on a Destiny budget, I think that could be, that could be amazing. That could be when amazing. was the last Time Splitters, like... 
Christ. early 2000s. So I feel like I want to say like future, it wasn't, Time Splitter's future perfect or something like that. And yeah. it must have been early 2000s. 2004. I had it on the GameCube. It certainly wasn't on the PS3 or Xbox no. 360. It was, no. it was old well, gen. It was, it was on the original Play Xbox, Xbox, PlayStation 2, 2 PlayStation GameCube, GameCube and, and, and the original Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. So a long time since we've ever seen it in the wild, you know, yeah. at all. So yeah. this is the year, I feel it. This is the year to come back. <laughs> I don't think it's ever going to that. Someone a while ago <laughs> remastered Time Splitters and put it on like a Unreal Engine. Right. And it did look fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's the it fast, it's like gold, it's that fast place style, like, um, like GoldenEye, very yeah, style. Like, yeah, it's a proper arcade game. Like really a quick. Proper yeah, arcade an game. arcade shooter. That is yeah. what yeah. I think is so lacking. Like it? you yeah. died and then like one second later, you respawned. It's like, yeah. dead. I mean, none of this yeah. sort of like waiting in lobby. You've got to wait for any seconds. Respawn yeah. and, and, and to be sniped or whatever. And no like, loadouts or anything like that. Just, just, just pick up guns just, in the map. Just I mean, guns on the map. Yeah. Customise it, like how yeah. many, what guns do you want to put in there? And then you start with your crappy yeah. little pistol or whatever, and then you pick stuff up, kill people, take their jewel yeah. it up and whatever. Great game, so fast paced. Another one I'd like to see, going back to the Star Wars thing, is a remaster of Rogue Squadron. Yes, oh, yes. please. Yeah. 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 That was my GameCube launch title. And, yeah, um, I bought that as well, yeah. yeah. Absolutely yeah, brilliant. That was... And that's aged well. I think that game still holds up, you know, but the graphics are yeah, like yeah, visually. Yeah. It was ahead of its time. Yeah. It was ahead of its time. I, I haven't seen a video of it now, sort of recently, but I remember it being but is, it, like, is yeah. it one of those things where you remember it and then when you see it in reality you think, oh, yeah, I can yeah. see it. So I have, that with, I have that with Goldeneye. You go back to look at Goldeneye now and that looks oh, like... Looks horrendous. Yeah, especially yeah. with the chopping animation. You like the... the <laughs> like, you, it looks so like... How it. didn't we have nosebleeds? <laughs> like Tomb Raider, we had like <laughs> triangle boots on, 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 on uh, Tomb Raider, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like, they are... Um, it's like basically pixel pixel. Yeah. Duke Nukem 3D on the N64 used to give me sort of... Horrendous. I'm pretty sure I had an I used to feel really there. sick. Yeah. But sort of. S Mario Kart, I had a few cerebro vascular events <laughs> like, playing that, I'm sure, like that bleeding from the eyes and the ears. Is that N64 era? N64 era, yeah. yeah. It was, uh, yeah, it was neurologically provoking. <laughs> <laughs> Which, on that note, thank you so much for watching our first episode of the podcast, and we'll see you next time. Which won't be the same week. <laughs> Change your shirt. <laughs> 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 <laughs>